you are definitely going to be able to see the ring light in my glasses. Sorry, I just kind of need to wear them at the minute because I am having really bad migraines. Given I do kind of always have migraines, but at the minute they are so painful. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, hello. Um, currently Becca is not here. Becca is having surgery as we speak. She is under anaesthetic and uh, can't text, believe it or not. Um, need to say, obviously I'm probably going to appear quite anxious and worried because surgery comes with risks and I don't think I'd be human if I didn't think about these things because anything can happen. Given I think the surgery's going to go smoothly, um, it has been longer than I thought it was going to be because the surgery was only supposed to be 40 minutes and she went under about just after 12 and now it is quarter past two so that element is kind of playing on my mind at the minute yeah I, I did I have found a few videos talking about how I feel about this but and like, what it's like having someone that's going through it is like which that's a whole other video anyway but that's why I seem a bit on edge and a bit anxious about everything. Where did I just put my drink? Got my high quality Morrison's own dandelion and beard out. This video is about the frequently asked questions regarding dissociation. I get questions about once an hour now on a dissociation related video of people asking questions and I've answered the same questions quite a few times so I thought I would just throw everything into a video for reference and hopefully it'll help those people and it'll also help other people learn to understand what dissociation actually is. Just be respectful in the comments because some things that some people say are so offensive and hurt so much I just don't even know what to say <laughs> and even making videos at the minute is really bloody hard because while I talk about stuff that I believe in that I've been through I get a lot of hate for the fact that I just talk openly and mainly to do my medication also to do with the fact that I'm just blunt with everything like if I'm upset I will post what I think and I'm allowed to social media is there to be social not I will never understand the justification for trolling so anyway let's get on with this video now that I've got that little disclaimer out there I want to say that this well, dissociative identity disorder is not the only disorder that can cause dissociation. Dissociation comes with a lot of other mental health conditions and can also be a symptom of a mental health condition, not the diagnosis. I am personally diagnosed with depersonalisation and derealisation. And this is down to the fact that I have PTSD, I've been through trauma and my body just disconnected me from it. My memory is always really bad and I've said this a lot. Dissociation is a common symptom of a lot of mental health conditions, which include, but is not limited to, depression, whether it's schizophrenia, schizotypical, schizoaffective disorder, anxiety, dissociative disorders such as depersonalization, derealization, disso dissociative amnesia, dissociative identity disorder, OSDD, catatonia, bipolar type 1, type 2, borderline personality disorder, also known as emotionally unstable personality disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, and panic attacks disorder. Dissociation can cause long-term memory loss. Dissociation is not the same as daydreaming. It's not the same as sitting in a car and losing focus. It's not the same as it's not the same as just daydreaming or dreaming. It's very hard to explain actually. PTSD is something that commonly contributes to dissociation and any dissociative disorder. Dissociation is actually the body's natural way of coping with very high stress things. The social identity disorder occurs when a body is repeatedly put into this position and the person is able to dissociate to a high level. But it is a very natural thing for the body to do with high stress. Dissociation is not a psychotic symptom, though it can actually cause psychosis and psychotic behaviour. Nobody chooses to dissociate. It's not a choice and it's not fun. It can occur anywhere. Dissociation can happen in any situation. It does not necessarily have to be triggered. There is a lot of misinformation and lack of understanding about what it really is and how it affects people. I quickly say, if you do want to follow me on other social media, I do talk about mental health every social media platform I have. 
have. My hamsters also have social media and Satsuma, emotional support animal, aka cat that's under duvet, that bit my toe. Um, I do have playlists with videos on, which I'll link in the description. I have an Etsy patron and a PayPal link down there as well, if you guys want to support this channel in any way. But yeah, the most important thing, remember to subscribe and go follow me on Twitter, as Twitter is my main social media. The key question I got for this video was, can you dissociate without a mental illness? Is a hundred percent possible to dissociate without a mental illness. As I said earlier, it is a body's natural way of reacting to high stress, trauma, big events, being overwhelmed, panic attacks. It can be caused by a lot of things, but I do want to again reiterate that dissociating is not the same as daydreaming. The treatment options for dissociative disorders or disorders including dissociation are often therapy alongside medication and when it comes to medication it is usually antidepressants. Make the main two medications that are used are antidepressants and they are sertraline and citalopram. Dissociation is a lot more common than people think. Dissociation looks different for every people every person. It doesn't have a look. You can't look dissociated. Like, it's also different, like you can also, a lot of the time you can kind of tell when you are starting to enter into dissociation because you just, you can't focus on anything around you. You can't focus on your surroundings, what's in front of you, what you're supposed to be doing, anything. When you are actually dissociating, it's very rare to actually be able to remember what happened during that dissociative period. If you're me or, or anyone else with depersonalization and derealization, a lot of the time you struggle to tell what was in a dream, what was real life because every day feels like you're in a dream. Trying to merge the thoughts of is what I'm experiencing, was what I experienced a dream or did it happen and it gets really really hard. It's, that is the reason that I always request a copy of my mental health notes, police notes and anything else. Very simply a case of, no, sorry, a kid was just looking through the window and Everybody has different triggers when it comes to dissociation. Another thing I always get asked is, does dissociating scare you? And I think I've covered this before. Well, no, I know I've covered this before. When I dissociate and realise that I've dissociated, it really, it scares me because I do not know what I have done in that time frame. There have been times where I have completely dissociated, got up and walked outside and gone somewhere and not even realised and then just realise that I'm out and I'm just like, how the fuck do I get here? You know, I've experienced dissociation in a lot of different ways. There was one incident where I just froze up with, because I started having flashbacks and I just, I, I can't even remember what happened. I just know that I, according to the police anyway, I was stood in the middle of the street and um, wasn't very responsive. I was just stood there and the th it's things like that that scare me about it. Like, I'm not scared of it because it's a mental illness, I'm scared of it because if you dissociate when you're outside on your own, it's not even like it's something that can be completely controlled. There is no medication you can take directly for dissociation to stop it. There is no medication there to help with that. I have done a lot of videos talking about dissociation, so I'm not going to sit here and share my story now, but I do have, I will link the dissociation playlist in the description down below along with the playlist that has my mental health story um, because I think that will help you guys understand me. Like I said at the beginning, I am in no way, shape or form a professional. I don't want to be a professional. I don't have the time to do it. I am more likely to go into law than I am. I was considering training in mental health and I can, like, I, I, that I might, I don't know yet, but I'm looking into doing a... <sighs> I'm looking at doing a post-grad degree in something. I, I want to stay on in education. I want to carry on in education. I'm also currently um, sending off pictures for work, which is remarkably fun, actually. I, I quite enjoy doing it, and two of them have been made, have been pushed forward, which um, is not great news when I saw not, we're not doing anything like that at the minute. The, the two pictures that have gone forward, I'm actually stupidly proud of. I worked, I do work hard on what I do and hours upon hours upon hours doing things until I feel 100% happy with it. And it shows in my grades, I have never not got a first on an assignment. I have always, I always prioritise my education above 
absolutely everything else and most people who are close to me know that like i am more likely to sit and do coursework than take care of myself which isn't great for the mental health but i've got grades and my grades are but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you are new make sure you hit the subscribe button i am coming back i am going to be posting more regularly again and i am excited about that so yeah stay safe stay strong and feel free to ask questions request videos anything at all and, I'll, and i will do my best to answer or create said video and like i said i use twitter the most out of all my social media so if you do want to get to know me on a more i vent on there i share a lot of things on there that i probably shouldn't if someone pisses me off like i'm not afraid to say they're pissing me off i'm not afraid to just be like that i don't really t i don't take any shit off people if people want to jump on a troll bandwagon if like if someone follows the troll accounts i literally just block them because why would i want to communicate with someone who is oh yeah also a quick note if you want to follow the pets i'll link their instagrams down below the tamsters and nibbles and harriet and then satsuma is zika but yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you guys soon with a new video